Long, long ago, in a deep sea kingdom lived a king named Poseidon and his five mermaid daughters. Ariel was the youngest of them all, and she had an amazing voice. Flounder, look what I found. It's a dingo hopper. Ariel, you're not supposed to be up here by the surface. Calm down, Sebastian. It's not like there's any boats or ships around. And we're being careful. Your father will not be happy about this. What will I not be happy about? Sir, sir, I didn't see you coming. And we were talking about... The surface, Dad. We were talking about the surface. Ew, you know you're not allowed up here. But, Dad... No buts. Scene two. Flounder, I just wish that there was something that could make my dad lighten up. Have you thought about a spell? No, and where can I even find a spell? Well, Ursula, of course. Where can I find this Ursula? Deep down in the dark blue sea in the black cave. So Ariel took in the deep blue sea to seek out a black cave. Hello? <coughs> Hello. Is anyone here? Is anyone here? Who dares speak in my cave? Me, Ariel. Daughter of Poseidon? Yes. Come in, dear. What seems to be the problem? I'm guessing there's one because you're here. Yes, I need a spell. Well, I got law, cooking, writing, and sleeping spell. That's for Maleficent. Well, I need a spell that will make my dad listen and agree with me. Here it is with the roll of potions. If I give this to my dad, will he listen and agree? Like a dog after a bone. Thanks. Hold on. There is a price. What price? Your hair. What? Why? If you don't want the potion, I get it. No, it's fine. She cuts her hair and left the cave. Scene three. Back at the castle. Hello? Is anyone home? She thinks no one is home, so she sets up the potion. Ariel, what's that? Uh, a potion? For what? My dad. Your father will not be happy about this. It's going to be fine, Sebastian. What's going to be fine? I made you some juice, Dad. Thanks, Ariel. Hey, Dad. How do you feel about me being by the surface? I feel like you're a responsible young lady who can make her own decision. Hey, Dad. I like a fish. Well, whatever makes you happy. Ariel leaves feeling accomplished. Scene four. Two hours later, Ariel finds Flounder. Flounder, the spell worked. I told my dad. Ariel. Dad. I do not approve of you dating a, a fish. <laughs> but dad, you said. No buts. Never mind what I said. This is not up for a discussion. What is your dad saying about you liking a fish? It doesn't matter anymore. Ariel felt like Ursula owed her an explanation, so she went to the cave. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me that the potion would wear off and you would remember the question? Every every potion wears off and I forgot, silly me. But if you give me more of your hair, you could try again. Will it wear off again? Yes. Then I can't help but say goodbye. Scene six. Poseidon realizes how sad his daughter is and goes to talk to her. Ariel, I've been thinking, and if you want to be with a disgusting, slimy fish, you can. Really? Thanks, Dad. She leaves to go find Flounder. Once Ariel finds Flounder, she tells and explains everything to him. Turns out Flounder does not feel the same way. Ariel realized you do not need a potion to solve your problems. Two years later, Flounder and Sebastian ended up being married, and Ursula and Poseidon ended up together, and Ariel ended up being with Mia the Seahorse. Thank you. <laughs>